Hello friends and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. This is the course Basics of Programming in C Language and here we are in our last video towards the file handling in C. So till now we have covered a bit of a theory about file handling along with a few practical examples which have taught us how to read and write from a file. They have also taught us various modes in which files can be opened. Now in this video what we will try and do we will try and learn about the various functions of file handling so the functions for navigating throughout the file are the ones that we will be learning over here till now we have learned the basic functions like f open f gets f puts okay now we will also be learning the functions which will allow us to navigate throughout the file so first of all let us just create a file pointer okay so in caps file is the data type that we use to declare a file pointer inside C language so just as before any pointer the name for file pointer should be prepended by an asterisk or a star symbol so let us initialize our file pointer to null now we should open a file okay and what I will do is I will create one file inside my e drive so let me create a new folder inside my e drive and I will name this new folder as folder 2 okay so inside my folder 2 over here I'll create my file so let me first copy this path from over here okay now what we will do is we will open a file so whatever the function f open returns will be stored into the file pointer fp so f open actually will return to us a pointer to the file okay so this location set to 0 and inside f open we have to pass two arguments the first argument is the name of the file including the absolute path to the file location so if your file is in e drive you have to pass e colon and then the name of the file now in our case our file is in the folder 2 in a folder named folder 2 inside e drive so here is the place where we want to create a file so let me give a name file.txt okay so this is the name of our file and this is the location now what we have to remember over here is that backslash is the path separator that is used in Windows what do we mean by path separator so inside Windows and in most of the operating system the file system is hierarchical which means that it is built in the form of a tree okay it starts from the root directory which in case of Windows is the name of the drive okay colon this is the root directory so root directory in our case is e colon and inside this root directory we have our folders so within these folders we can also have subfolders or subdirectories and then within those also we can have subdirectories and at last we can have a node which is known as the file okay so to specify the path towards the file the absolute path towards the file starting from the root node we have to separate each level of tree by a backslash okay so backslash inside windows language inside windows operating system is used as the path separator but we also remember that backslash is also the escape character inside C language that means that whenever we have to put some escape characters uh, like backslash n which is used for new line we use the same backslash symbol so in this case our C language compiler might get confused that backslash f is a escape character although it is not an escape character folder 2 is the name of the folder and backslash we are using it here as a path to avoid this confusion we have to escape the escape character itself so always whenever we have to give backslash we have to give two backslash consecutively okay then the compiler will come to know that okay this is backslash so I have to replace these two backslashes with a single backslash and there is no escape character 
over here. This backslash f is not an escape character. Okay, so that is how we specify the path inside Windows while calling the function f open. And after that, we have to specify the mode in which we have to open the file. We have read about various modes. R is used for read only. W is used for write only. A is used for append. The difference between W and A being that W will start writing at the beginning of the file whether or not there is a data existing inside the file or not whereas A will always begin writing at the end of the file so it will not overwrite the existing data whereas W will overwrite the existing data. Apart from these modes there are the combination of other modes like RW which is read and write so we, you can use R plus for read and write or W plus for read and write. Now let us first open the file in the W mode. So first we will write something into that file and then we will also use the functions to know the current location of the file. So let us first just after the opening, after opening this file, try and get the location of the file, current location of the file pointer. So to do, to do this, what I will do is I will just print the output of ftel function. So ftel is a function inside C language that tells us the current location of a file pointer. So where does the file pointer currently points to? Okay, so call this function ftel. I'll first use a printf statement. Inside this printf statement, I am going to add some constant string current location is. So this constant string is just a helping string. Okay, it will just make my output more understandable. And after that, I have added this percentage d, which is nothing but the format specifier of the variable which I want to print over here. So to know more about format specifiers and escape sequences, you can always refer to our video on console input and output. Okay, so here after this constant string, I will give my variable name. So the variable, I am not using any variable here, over here. I am straight away using the return of a function known as ftel. So the return value of ftel function is an integer in itself. So when a function returns an integer, I can print it straight away inside a printf statement and the percentage d over here will get substituted by the return value of ftel function. But to call the ftel function, I have to pass the pointer to the file that I have just opened. Okay, so let us first try and execute the function this level only. So I will not add any further line into this function and we'll try and execute it. First I have tried and compiled it. It has compiled with zero errors and zero warnings. Let us see if there is any file inside folder 2. So here friends, our folder 2 is right now empty. So a file should get created when I execute this. Okay, so let us try and execute this code. So it has printed that the current location is 0. And this is the print which is coming from here. The current location is percentage %t and then we have called the function ftel fp file has just been opened so it is always whenever we open a file it points to the zeroth location inside a file okay so here let us see if our folder 2 which we just created the file has got created or not yes the file has just got created in our folder 2 but the size is 0 kb because we have not written anything into this file as of now so now what we will try and do is we will add certain characters into this file and we will see that how the file location progresses. So this is the printf statement that I will be using again to print my location. But between these two location prints, I will add some characters into the file. Okay, so as I will add some characters into this file, it will make the file pointer move ahead throughout the file and next time when I print its location it should give me some incremented value. So what I will do is I will use the function fputs which is used to put some characters, write some characters into the file. So to this function fputs what I have to do is I have to pass the file pointer which is the second argument and the first argument is the string of characters which is constant cache stars which is a pointer to the characters. So constant cache stars can be passed using double quotes only because double quotes contain nothing but a constant string inside a C language. Inside the C language. Okay. So I will pass five characters over here A, B, C, D, E. Okay. And 
then we have to pass the file pointer in which we have to write these characters. Now let us see. We should have two results of the execution of this program. The first one should be that inside our file in the E drive folder 2 in file.txt which is right now empty if we just open it with notepad it is empty we should get the string a b c d e we should get these five characters over here and the second effect should be that the current location is this print should come again two times uh, earlier it was coming only one time now it will come two times and in the second case it should tell the location which is at least five characters ahead of the initial location so initial location was zero so the next location should be five let us try and verify this by executing this code. Okay, so our first inference is proved. So earlier the location was 0, now the location is 5 as we expected. Now let us see, see, now the file size has increased. Now it is not an empty file anymore and it has got these 5 letters, 5 characters inside the file. So since we have written five characters inside the file. Each character takes exactly one byte or eight bits of location inside the memory. So it is showing that it has been incremented by exactly five locations. Okay, so this was ftel. Now let us try and use the function fseek. Okay, so what does fseek do? fseek allows us to navigate throughout the file. Now let us see the format of the function fseek. In fseek function, we have these arguments. The first one is the file pointer itself. The second one is a long argument and it tells the location to go to. Okay, and the last one is the reference point from where we are specifying the location. Okay, in our case, what we'll do is we'll specify the reference point as zero only because it is the simplest thing to do. So, zeroth location is right before the character A inside our file. And in place of this location long, we should specify 2. So, here is the zeroth location, here is the first location, and here is the second location, right before character C. Okay, so when we'll specify 2 over here, then the file pointer will get seeked to this place. So, it will go to this place over here and when again we call an fget operation on on this file pointer we should get this character as a result which is right ahead of the second location on the third location we should get the character small c in the return so let us try and verify this thing over here so first of all let me call the function fseek so i'll specify the pointer file pointer fp then I'll specify the location at which we have to seek, that is the second location, and the reference point. So reference point, if I put it as 1, it should take this location at the reference point, and then it will seek two positions ahead, and it will reach just before the character D. But I am specifying the reference point as 0. So this is the zero location, and it will seek exactly two positions ahead, just before the character C specified the reference point as 0. Now let us try and see what is the output of this statement again. So here we are printing the location again. At this point the location should get printed as 2. Now we'll also do one more thing. We'll print the character at this particular position. So to print that character I'll use this same statement print f the character at character is okay and percentage c which is the format specifier for the character inside c language and i will call f get c on the file pointer fp so now let us try and execute this much of the code just let me put one new line at the end of this print of statement so if everything is fine it should get printed on the screen okay so one thing that we have forgotten over here is to change our mode. Our file mode is write only at this point of time, so we will not be able to read from the file. So in that case, if we execute the program as it is, we will not be able to read the character at all from the file. 
So to, uh, to correct this, what we should do is we should either use R plus or W plus mode. So in W plus mode, we can e either read or write from to the file. So now I'll compile my code again and now we'll execute it again. So as we expected, the character that it has read is C. Initial location was 0. Then after writing A, B, C, D, E, the location was 5. And then we did the F seek operation. So at that point, the location 2. And then we have read the character C. Now let me try one more experiment. Instead of 0, we'll put it as 1. So as discussed earlier also, when we put the reference point as 1, it will take this location just after A as the reference point and from here it will traverse two positions ahead and it will reach at this position the location just before the fourth character and just after the third character and then we print the current location at this point it will give it as 3 and when we try and get another character out of the file at this point it will it should return D so now let me try and execute this code Okay, so this was a small video in which we understood how to use the fseek and ftel functions inside C language.